Hey guys! Howdy! What's up and welcome back or to The Roomies Digest. My name's Christine. I'm Monique. And today we're gonna be talking about our November TBR. Yes. I'm feeling very news angry today. I liked it, you know? Thank you. So, I think that's the seat that brings that energy. Okay. So back to you, Sam. Bum, bum, da 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 da, bum, bum, da. So we're going to be talking about our November TBR today and you know, tis the season to be thankful and there's going to be lots of uh, fun stuff going on mm -hmm. this month. One of them being Monique traveling. I'm traveling this month. Yes. Internationally. Getting out of Dodge, you know. <laughs> Jer County. <laughs> Dodger. Like the Dodger. Oh, Dodger County. That was way way above my brain christine that would have been one of your better jokes you made in my entire life that's crazy because i was like dodger you didn't even get it at first i know like <laughs> i am impressed i'm obviously not a baseball girly but you either. know we live in the city of angels aka the dodgers aka they didn't do well i think the team that's doing well is houston Astros? That's a sore spot. It's definitely a sore spot. How do I know this? Because I am always, you know, collecting information. So I may not watch... <laughs> I am in your phone. <laughs> I may not watch baseball, but I know that the Astros, maybe if that's the team, is doing well. Mm. So, okay. great joke, Christine. Thank you. <laughs> this is like the most you've ever praised me in my life. Because <laughs> it really didn't click. I was like, Dodger? I said, what county is Dodger? <laughs> You're like, Dodger? <laughs> well done. Anyway. Honestly, great, great. You, that was just a great, wonderful world play. I'm a little embarrassed now. <laughs> anyway, so yeah, the whole point of that is we were trying to segue into the fact that Monique's going to be gone for a little while uh, this month. And so, yeah, that's it. <laughs> That's the update. The update yeah. is we're both busy. Um, lots of life changes and stuff going on, but we're, we're going to keep reading, which is going to segue us into the point of this video. What we're reading. What are we reading in November? Yep. Let's talk about it. Well, as you know, Clear Book Club is still on holiday hiatus. Holiday so hiatus. There's no update there. Which is crazy saying. because I just, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but somebody just talked about in our Discord about how they're making a movie with Anne Hathaway and this other like kind of famous guy that you would have no idea who I'm talking oh, about. Oh, the age gap moment. Yes. And I was like, we need to read this for Classic Clear your book club so i'm really excited i mean we either do it for that or we do it for new movie night because i'm like i gotta watch Anne hathaway with this man the premise is a, like a 40 year old or... woman falls in love with a 20 year old band member oh so she's in the band no she, no he's in the band she's 40 he's 20 but you said a band member so i, I mean 40 year old like falls in love in the with i know a 40 year old woman falls in love with a 20 year old band member like mm -hmm. a person in a band a band member. A musician. Um, sure. But that, but I'm, I'm you specifically. You adding in band member made it seem like that they were members along together. No, I'm That's saying how that to, pre to, to give you context because he's like, he's basically like a K-pop guy like he's like part of a band he's like one direction i know what you're saying not a musician as in by himself like i hear you, you know. but like it's okay it's a classic case of miscommunication and that's our that's our <laughs> that's our black on co-star communication is black square yeah. anywho you yeah, know but it's your entertainment <laughs> my life your entertainment what was it's the point like, of that you know the title of it or anything what <laughs> what you're talking about I'm gonna pop it up on the screen so you guys will know what we're talking about. Okay. Um, instead of like just listening to this really long rant. But anyway, that was the one that I was like, ooh. Okay. So we'll see. Good to know. But yeah, we're still on hiatus. Let's get back to the point. The point of the point is that is, you know, no update there. Our movie night book club will be streaming Lord of the Rings. Yes. This month before Super out of the exciting. country. Super exciting. So Yes, so keep keep an eye out for that. It's about time for me to watch that movie again about damn time i watch it probably every year yeah you do so yeah lord <laughs> of the rings is happening so be sure you're in our discord so you know when we are going to stream that film very very excited and then for our, movie night our like, movie yeah I'm yeah let's segue i'm getting there so we have we host a book club called movie night book club where we read books and watch movies you know 
adaptions, that kind of a thing. And we do it in our Discord. So this month. This month we're going to be doing American Psycho. I know it is suggested to us by one of our Discord members, Karma Chameleon. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Shout out to you. Yeah. We are going to do your suggestions. So, American Psycho, we will read that book. I have never read that book. And I think I've only seen clips of the movie. I don't think I've actually seen the movie all the way through. American Psycho. Okay, let me think about that. I just know the part where he's like dancing. Oh, yeah, he's crazy. That movie was psycho. But I, I don't mean... think I've actually seen the movie because I'm like, I don't want to, you know. Yeah, I watched it years ago. Like, I don't know like if it's from that movie, but I don't think I know what that movie's about. I don't know the parts of the movie. I know like, yeah, I know moments, but I don't mm -hmm. know the overarching tale. Like, why is he an American Psycho? And why do they make a second film? You know? Questions, <laughs> questions that need answers. Mm -hmm. So that's gonna be the book that we're reading for movie night. So if you guys are interested, make sure you join our Discord and you can also join us on Fable, where we will be reading the book, highlighting, doing our annotations, and talking about it through that app. So yeah. Peace and blessings be to you. So the other book club that I just want to mention, you guys know Fantasy Series is the fantasy book club that I host with Nicole from Bon Bon Reads, Rachel from Let Me in the Library, and Jess from Books Past Bedtime. We're currently reading through the Diviner series and I'm having a great time with these books. Like I'm loving it. But this next one, this last one, book number four, is the chaotic book. This is the book that literally everybody says, I hate this. I hate it. I hate it so much, I just want to throw it out and forget that it even exists. What accent was that supposed to be? Don't know. Okay. So anyway, um, this this is interesting to me because I feel as though Libba Bray may have an issue ending her series. That or she just wants to put people through intense pain. Um, so, yes. Wow. Are those spoiler images? So that is what we're going to be reading for Fantasy Series Book Club. And then we're going to take a small short hiatus in December and reset starting in January. So we'll, we will read this book in November, talk about it in December, have a cute little holiday hiatus once again, and then start a new series in January. Very, very exciting. We have read so many books this year for Fantasy Series, it's going to be hard for me to pick my favorites. But I am interested to see how Divinus is going to wrap up because I've been enjoying it, like I said. It's a good time. Yeah. It's a good time. So yeah. Yeah, I don't have any book club updates. I don't have any other book clubs besides the two I said. So. I am not a book club. I personally am not a book club, you know. And that's my truth. <laughs> but I am doing a buddy read that is being, you know, pushed over. <laughs> So buddy reads. What are those? <laughs> I know. So I'm reading. Uh, I said I was reading this last month, but I really am going to read it this month. Actually, technically, I'm reading it now. But the buddy read has started, so here we are today. <laughs> so I'm going to be reading Mr. Penumbra's 24 Hour Bookstore uh, with Rachel from Let Me in the Library. Yes. So we have talks about it and yeah. talked about it. So let's not go back about it. A buddy read that I'm doing this month, aka. <sighs> Something that I'm like when hosting. When do even get in the mail, Christy? When do they even get in the mail? Is this the boxes that have been showing up is the, with these books? <laughs> anyway, the buddy read that I'm going to be doing this month, aka kind of a read along that I'm hosting in our Discord, is the Zodiac Academy <laughs> books. <laughs> I don't understand. Five through eight. Yeah, so we're reading these books. It was because we thought that eight was going to be the last book, but then, of course, you know, they came out and said that eight is not the last book. Actually, nine is. And I was like, y'all are really playing me because I'm going to tell you right now, they're going to have 12 books. They're going to have 12 books, one for each of the Zodiac signs, okay? So don't get it twisted. If your Zodiac isn't on one of these books yet, it's coming. And that's here and now my prediction. But anyway, I'm going to be reading five, six, seven, and eight, which I haven't gotten eight yet, obviously, because it has not come out. Um, but yes, you're right. I did order these recently. Um, and just to address the elephant in the room, I am doing the book buying, Broke Bitches book buying ban bingo board. Say that 10 times fast. And um, this was part of my reward because I finished my bingo board. So these are three of the books that I bought for, you know, for that uh, little challenge that I'm doing. So I'm trying not to consume as many books. 
So this is what I'm going to be reading. If you guys are interested in reading books five through eight, you can go ahead and join our Discord. I already set up a, a little area for us to go ahead and start talking about the books. Even if you want to read one through four now, you can go in there and chat with people who are also reading one through four. Um, and yeah, that's it. I'm probably going to vlog this because I'm, I'm sure, I'm positive that I'm going to be crying uh, throwing up, um, pulling out my hair, and just being in plain misery for most of this vlog. So it's gonna be a fun time. I'll probably read these when Monique's gone. That's my truth. Anyway. You can only tell me. Just kidding. To take me into a good mood from those books, I wanted to read Once Upon a K Prom by Cat Show. I'm pretty sure this is Axio's cousin. How did you get that? Because I read it somewhere. Yeah. I think this is her cousin. If it's not, I'm going to cut it out. But anyway, um, this essentially just follows a young girl who is going to prom with a K-pop idol. That's so cute. <laughs> you guys know I've been on my, like, K-pop, you know, K-drama-inspired books. Like, I've been reading a lot of these recently, and I'm loving every single one. Like, I truly am having a good time. <sighs> So anyway, I'm very, very excited to get into this one because I saw this at the Rip Bodice and I was like, wow, first of all, the cover. It's cute. Cute. Second of oh, all. It's a butterfly. Yes. Oh, I love butterflies. It's so cute. And on the front it says, who needs to be prom queen when your date is K-pop royalty? <laughs> okay. So it's going to be fun. I'll let you guys know how it goes, but this is going to be my light and fluffy read for there. November. I'm so excited. And literally all of the, the people that are quoted on the back are all the authors that I love. So I know it's going to be a good book. It's fine. Not gospel. Yeah, for my light and fluffy, I'll probably just mood read something. You guys know how I am. There's a lot of romances that I have in the, in the back burner. Like I still need to read Spans Love Deception, Book Lovers. What else? List could go on. So if I pick one up, you guys will hear about it. I'm also going to be reading Love. I don't think this is going to be light and fluffy though. Yeah, I was so excited when you got that book because I thought that it was going to be like a cute little like Irish romance. And I'm realizing now it's maybe, honestly, maybe tragic. Yeah, I, but it says, it's it says Love offers a delightfully comic yet moving portrait of many forms love can take throughout our lives. And they're like sitting in a Dublin restaurant and uh, you know, I will be going to Dublin this month. So yeah, I was like, have we even talked about that? I feel, I don't think I said, but I'm going out of the country and I'm going to Dublin. So I said, you know what? I should read about love. I've had this since my birthday. My friend got it for me. So you can have a cute little picture in front of a pub with love. Sure. I was thinking just like having your cute little Irish outfit. My Irish outfit. And then um so. and then just holding the book and just being like, slay. Okay. You know? You know how you do. You always do the Monique does this one pose when she's trying to like be oh, cool yeah. and she goes, she's like That's it, this is it. <laughs> and she always does, yeah, the hand thing. Unless it's like a far away photo, then her hands are kind of like, you know. Okay. And Christine does a lot of model poses that I don't need. Christine doesn't do the <clears throat> thing that she just did. I'm trying to be cuter because that seems like it's less intense. You know what I mean? I just got some Polaroids back recently and I thought I was having a fun time, but all my friends said that I looked angry. So I never said that. You're not all of my friends. I have other friends. Anywho. Nice account. So, yeah, that's gonna be fun. And Monique has promised to vlog. So, we'll, we'll be vlogging. How that goes. I won't fail, you guys. I'm excited. Mm -hmm. I'm excited for you. Going on to kind of like the potentials that I possibly will be reading this month, I just wanna throw a couple titles out because we are getting, we are getting to the end of the year. And I have many fantasy books to read, many fantasy books. Like Monique's like, I haven't read a single romance because I've just been too busy. I haven't read a single fantasy because I've just been too busy, except for Divine Rose, obviously. <laughs> you found a great But time. these are the ones that I wanna potentially get to. And if I get to all of these, you guys, please give me a gold star, okay? 
Fevered Star, Rebecca Roanhorse. We already know. So this is a sequel to Black Sun. I am not sure how this is going to go because I have some friends that have started reading this book and they said it's very, 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 very slow. But then I thought in my head, I said Black Sun was slow. I low-key soft DNF that book last year and then picked it back up later and was like, wow, this is really, really good. So I think that may be the same way. I'm excited to see these characters again and I want to know where the story goes because the characters truly are so good. But why would the sequel be slow? Because something happened in the end of the last one uh, that kind of like reset a lot of things. Uh, Not like reset from the beginning, but like it was like, dang, where do we go from here? Okay. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So we'll see how it goes. I'm excited. Hmm. It's an option. The second one is The Second Rebel by Lyndon A. Lewis. And I want to get to this one because the third book in this trilogy is coming out this month. Um, and I absolutely love The First Sister. Like that book holds a special place in my heart. I don't know why it hit so well, but it did. So now I got to see Miss Lyndon. Is this going to be just as good? I hope it is because I'm, I'm looking out for my one character. I'm looking out for my one character, okay? And I need to know that they are all right. Because if they are not, I am upset. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's that's the other book. And then third, last, lastly, hmm. Shbabble. Your babble. Babble by R.F. Okay. Kwong. You guys know I'm on a Broke Bitches book buying ban. So I can't necessarily buy books that Monique already has because why would I do that? <laughs> Interesting. Why would I waste a, a, a book buy on a book that Monique already has? Okay. That, yeah, you should always borrow my books. Yeah because we're friends. So anyway, I'm going to be reading this book and I've heard that I'm going to cry. I heard that I'm going to cry. I heard I'm going to scream, pull out my hair. So by the, but between this and Zodiac Academy, I'm only going to have one hair left on my head. Yeah. Don't have no pencils mm -hmm. in your hand. Now, would you quit it? I'm going to get bullied on the internet for that. <laughs> yes, I am. People go down my throat when you say stuff like that. I don't know where Monique, what, how Monique got so many champions in the world, but can I have some champions to Christine, we have the same amount of champions. They anyway, never both of us. No, people always yell at me about that. I have not written in a single book. I know, I'm just joking. Tease, tease. Since you told me not to. <laughs> and honestly, <laughs> I don't know what kind of witch's spell I was under. <laughs> <laughs> but when I read it, <laughs> when I read it, I read Beach Read. <laughs> that was me. This is the book. <laughs> I don't know what it was. Beach Read really just changed me. And I think it made it even more impactful because she said, what kind of name is Christine, Christy, Chrissy? And I was like, wow, she really just called me <laughs> You're like, she was like, I don't have a basic B name like Christine. I was like, I'm gonna have some Marcus. words with you, Emily. I'm gonna have some words with you. <laughs> but anywho, all that being said, I'm gonna be reading Babel. Potentially. Okay. <laughs> what you got going on over there? What's up? Last but not least. <laughs> I'd like to thank me. <laughs> this is so fun. This is the end of an era. Yeah, the end of a vlog. I've been trying to vlog for five months. This is awesome. Well, that means I need to catch up. I haven't touched any of my books because nah, I, mean, I knew you were not going to be reading yeah, these soon, anytime soon. You guys will see the what, what we were talking about. The vlog about. is actually so fun. It's just so the unfortunate. I am, yeah, the I was the one. <laughs> <laughs> these look. <laughs> so oh. I am going to be reading Neil Gaiman's American <laughs> Gods. Um, I actually I've heard the audiobook is very good. That's great to hear. I actually have two copies of this, so I'm thinking whichever one wasn't gifted. I think this is the one that was gifted to me by Nibby. Also, that's like the one that you would prefer, isn't it? I don't know. Light. I think the other one's kind of cool too, though. With the um, it's with the um, it's the mass paperback version with a cool like illustration, like an '80s illustration. Oh. So, but yes, I will be reading this. Thank you, Nitty, for putting this in my hands. Love it. And last but not least. It is time. This isn't happening. It is. I don't even know why she's holding this book up. It is. It's happening. It's not. It's happening. I'm making a commitment here and now in this video to finish Miss Bourne. Okay. And I know what you're going to say. 
I know what you're gonna say. Christine, how can you say that you're a fantasy reader? <laughs> I'm gonna tell you on page mm, 228 this book is still boring but <laughs> I'm gonna be finishing the Mistborn vlog it has been literally one year and that is why I'm bringing this book back up because I cannot have that sitting on my external drive anymore I've got to get that vlog out <laughs> so what's gonna be funny is the transition from the last clip that I did to the most recent one I have a funny little thing in. I think it's funny. <laughs> <laughs> this is always what happens. I think things are funny and then they're not. But anyway, so I'm going to be finishing Miss Born. Hopefully it's a good time. I've heard that this actually, though it's the first one that a lot of people read, it's actually not the best one. So I'm not going to judge Brando Sando too harshly. Yes, um, but am I going to judge his book? Yes. And we'll see all the tea on that in the vlog. So that's all I'm going to say. Okay. God, this is so just... So what's the one that people like? The other one? Skyward is the one ah. that a lot of people like. It's the YA. I thought um, that's... The and whole then... time I thought that's what he was reading. No, because you're supposed to start with this one because this so one this apparently introduces characters. this is the Wayfarer characters. series. This is the Mistborn trilogy. Oh. Mistborn is the name of the trilogy. This one is called, like... Mistborn. No, this one's not... You're telling me the that. book is not called Mistborn? That's what somebody has told me. The book is called Mistborn. Oh, the Stormlight Archive are the ones that people really, really like. That was what I was going to say, The Way of Kings. Um, I guess you're right. Every time I... Oh, I might be thinking of the UK version. Never mind. Okay. Never mind. That's why I was confused. I yes. was like, why would they put the title of a book and not be the title of the book? That's what I said. But then somebody was like, no, it's not called Miss Miller. And I was like, mm, I don't know enough about Brando Sando to tell you that you're wrong. But anyway, that's it. I'm done talking about this <laughs> until we get to the vlog. So, okay. Well, yeah, I think that's it for me. I'm doing the mood ring thing, so. But, you know, the mood is going to be pretty much American Kings of Gods. It's going to be fun. Which I think is going to be good. I like Neil Gaiman. Also, I've heard nothing but good things about that book. It is long, but. Yeah, but I'm just like. It's an epic. Huh? It's an epic fantasy. It is? Like, in terms of what? Like, what are the facts? Like, Tolkien? I thought we had already established this. That's why I was literally laughing that you got this book. It's an, what do you mean an epic fantasy book? No, what not like for? old. Oh, okay. Not like castles and stuff, but like it's about gods, like American gods. Oh, okay, yes, yes. Like the show. Yeah, Have you but it's like. Show? I seen like 20 minutes of the first episode and I was like, okay. oh, wait, I don't want to watch yeah, this. Yeah, they have like powers and stuff. But it's based in the world. Yeah, I think. Yeah. It's, yeah, epic fantasy gives, is, gives me a different. It is an epic fantasy. It's not an epic fantasy. I mean, maybe. I haven't read the book, but I would not call this an epic fantasy. Just I, because the setting is like in castles and stuff doesn't mean that all of epic fantasies are set in castles and stuff. You get what I'm saying? Well, what makes something epic then? Because they're gods? It's just like larger than life, you know? Okay. I'm just saying, is this... I don't know. I will be able to know clearly by the end of this month. Epic fantasy Obviously is giving me like Lord of the Rings. Like I would say, I would even venture to say Mistborn is an epic fantasy. Maybe like P Priory of the Orange Tree. It says an inspiring combination of mythology, adventure, and illusion. Like, but it's a contemporary masterpiece. I think on You this, guys be the judge. We can be divided. You guys be the judge. Honestly, whoever's I read it. I don't read fantasy, so I can't. I only have Me talking Tolkien about. and like. You're the fantasy resident of this house. Honestly, I've read a lot of fantasy this year. Is it by yeah, yeah. So let's let's not get into who's reading fantasy. All I'm saying is I would not put this in the epic fantasy category, but someone who knows should tell me, tell us, and we'll know. Um, anyway, true. okay, so that is it for all our reading plans. Um, don't forget to like, you know, like this video, subscribe, little things, you know, housekeeping things, and all our information and stuff is down below. Yep. Also, if you'd like to travel with us next year, we are planning a trip to go to a secret location that we have not disclosed yet. <laughs> it's not planned. <laughs> <I was> like, <laughs> um, but if you'd like to fill out that survey, it's going to be down below and you can let us know where you want to travel. Um, I think we have a pretty good idea of where we're going. So if you're interested in traveling and uh, going internationally with both of us, then fill out that survey. All you have to do is put your email and where you want to go.
It's pretty mm -hmm. simple. But yeah, that's it. That's all I got. Yep. Until next time. Bye. Bye.